as you can see, Ben's on autopilot. one we have Hank who's the German Shepherd and Wilma who's the little Sheltie dog. The Shelties make the great miniature agility dogs and as you can see Wilma can do the big stuff as well. Once again any breed of dog can do agility you have great fun it's a good bonding exercise and it does actually keep you reasonably fit most of the time. Price of one there, give a round of applause. That's Sharon with Wilma. This is Judah Missy, Big Long Coat. Don't mind that job very much. Long Coat German Shepherd Mitch. People always say, you know, I had a dog 10 years ago, I want to get another one. Look at all three of dogs are different. Because you might have had a poodle 10 years ago, it doesn't mean because you're now going to get a German Shepherd or, a, you know, Something else that they're exactly the same. Because they're not the same. Yes, 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 yes. And for the weaving frame, very large dog, it's difficult. Get around for our soon there, Misty, on the far side. Looking worse for wear because it's been in the canal today. Here's Helen and uh, Milo. Milo is a labadoodle. They come big, they come small, they come fluffy. They come smooth coated, at the end of the day, they're all labadoodles. And for the weedy frame, as you can see, he is a bundle of fun. And get around to the floor, soaking wet, that's Helen and Milo. Ooh, I can smell dog food over there. Come to Labrador, this is Louisa Monty. Monty went past the dog food place, and thought, mmm, something smells very good in there. As here, Monty is a nice, lean Labrador, comes from working stock. Some Labradors look at food, put on 10 kilos overnight. So it's nice to see a trim one. Labradors are the, sometimes they, uh, spoken of as a eating machine with a leg in each corner. Oh, Mum, I don't like the seesaw. No, I don't like seesaw very much. It bounces, it bangs, makes a lot of noise. It's uh, difficult piece of operation. Give it a round of applause, Louisa Monty! There we go, this is Ed and Gibson, Springer Spaniel. Very, very fast indeed. Very lively Spaniel. Spring, especially Springer Spaniel is going to be very lively, especially when they're working out in the field. Tip, one down. We don't care if they're not the jumps over, we're here to just show you how much fun any breed of dog can have doing agility. And through the weaving frame there, give a round of applause and Ed and This will be a little bit slower. This is Lynn and Leo. Leo is totally deaf. He's a Harlequin Great Dane and only has about 40% sight. Training Leo to do what he's going to do now has not been easy. It's been a long process. He's not the fastest dog around the block. Sometimes he just doesn't jump. He just plows through them. Let's see how he goes. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't like that one. I don't like that dog. No, we're going to go through the tunnel. I don't like that dog. Mom, I don't like that dog very much. Go on, Leo. No, he's not, he's not playing there, is he? Go on, Leo. You like it up there? No, I don't. I don't want to play. He's not playing today, is he? Yesterday, I think he's uh, in the land of Nod. Hey, I don't care, I'll just plow through it, no problem at all. No seesaw. No. Now, can he go through the weaving frame about five poles at a time? He's a big boy. Give him a round 
the boy that's been hard working for all fun today, Lynn and Leo! This is Rafa Tia. <laughs> Tia doesn't do those big jumps. She's getting back to something like it. It's a relearning process as they haven't done it for a bit. Now over the big A-frame. No, I don't want it. Oh, do I want to do the A-frame, Mum? Let's have a look. Go on, Tia, you can do it. Go on, up you know. Yes, no problem at all. Once the dog is focused, it'll be away and hopefully the rest of the way will be clear. Now for the weaving frame. Give a round of applause, slow but steady, give a round of applause for us, that's here. This is the first time ever in an arena for Angela and Jazz, the boxer. First time ever. Ever, 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 ever. Ever, 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 ever done this before in an arena. I'd like to see who's around the outside. Go on, Jazz, focus. You uh, did a clear round before. It's all too noisy. Uh, way late. The first time she's ever worked jazz in the arena. It's entirely different than training. Hope you look on the seesaw. With a helping hand there through the weaving frame. See how she goes there. Jazz! Here's Sue Lizzie. Lizzie's a Labrador cross. It's uh, quite trim, not a lot of fat and looks nothing like a Labrador. <laughs> go on, Lizzie, you can do it. Go on, go on, oh no! We don't like that today for some reason. You didn't work hard yesterday down in Crosby, so uh, maybe they're not full of steam as they normally are. Up on the seesaw. Uh, through the weaving frame, nice and gently. She's going to trip over her tongue any time now. Give her out of four. See her, Lizzie. Now, let's resurrect an oldie. Now, I'm talking about Brian the Hatter. This is Rusty, the red setter. She retired a year ago, then Brian thought she's still got a lot to give. She may not be the fastest canine around the world, but she enjoys what she does. Rusty's uh, ten and a half years of age. Brian's working dog is just recovering from a hip replacement, so it's nice for him to have something to work with. Uh, Rusty in her day was a very, very fast dog indeed, but she's ten and a half now, so Though she's out of retirement, she likes to take it nice and gently. Doesn't like that A-frame. For some reason our dogs are not liking that A-frame today. Once you get over the seesaw, oh, let's see how she weaves through the weaving frame. Very pretty indeed. Ten up years of age, give it a round of applause. That's Brian and Rusty. Now this is Kath, this is Amber. This is Kath and Amber. Soft coals in Wheaton Terrier. They have another one called Odo, which I can't tell the difference between. So that's why I have to ask her which one is which. So sometimes she does a scrub on me. And I don't know this, so it's too late. Soft coals in Wheaton Terriers are the most common breed in the world. They are lovely dogs. They need a lot of grooming as well. Oh, Amber, oh yes, Amber likes the A-frame. That's good, good, good. Once that seesaw, a lot of dogs really don't like it. It is quite a jolt. They get used to it eventually. They just burn nice, nice and quietly. 
And through the weedy frame there, give a round of applause, Casper and Amber! And on the far side, yes, you know who ate all the pies, it's me. She had that second bacon body for breakfast, and you can tell. Five years ago, she was not a happy camper at all. Now she just uh, adorable little dog. Really, 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 really nice. Get out of all, Julie. And yes, you know her. I've never done this in an arena rather than training in Formby. Tiny different feel. Lots of different things around the arena. Lots of smells. Also, lots of dogs as well. We've got German Shepherds, we've got Staffies, Great Danes, Labradors, Springers, we've got all sorts of breeds. We have a whole cross-section of breeds out there. Oh, you've been there, in there so I'm sure okay. within those three categories you have one of those types of breeds. One of the questions I know that's uh, often asked down at our training centre is we love to let our dog off the lead, let it have a good run. And it never comes back to us. It goes somewhere entirely, entirely different. The simple answer is the dog has never been trained. Basic recall, the dog should always come back to you 10 times out of 10. Not nine, because then that's that one time out of 10 when it could cause some serious problems for you and your dog. So please, if you never thought about training your dog, there's some information for me today, where are based in Formby. We've got classes Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays. We've got seven acre training centre, we've got floodlights and door facilities, lunchtime and evening classes as well. I asked the question of our audience yesterday, did they know what the most common name for a dog in the world was? A lot of people were shouting out Ben or Lassie, Rover. It is none of those. Those who have dogs will know only too well the most common name for a dog. It's Oi! We use it to talk to them and not another member of your pack. Because the canine right. is a family unit as a pack. You've got your alpha male, alpha female, and then you've got your children, and then right at the bottom, you have your canine. It's only when the canine starts uh, thinking that he or she can work his or her way up the pack, and you have a problem. The dog understands where it is in the pack pecking order. Happy days, no problems at all. And once you have some basic obedience on your canine belt, then you can um, run out to the arena and look for... She's going to get the football. What's she after? She's only young, she may be big, but yeah. she's only young. She's young, young doing a shepherd puppy in training. And of course, once you've got the basic obedience under your dog's skin, you can teach him or her tricks of the trade. People say to me that Lassie was a very clever dog. Yes, but there were several Lassies. If you watch a Lassie movie very carefully, Lassie's that clever. He turns into a she, and then sometimes she turns into a he. Because though Lassie was a clever dog, he and she did not do all their tricks at the same time. They got different ones to go in. Basically, this is a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. It's very hard, it's constant. But once you get it under your belt, you can do all of your things that you want to do with your... Well, is it pies? There goes Wilma, who doesn't want to know. Wilma, what are you doing? As you see, they're not, Misty's not bothered at all. She's sat there very calmly. There goes Monty. There goes a very, very wet and smelly labradoodle. And there goes Jazz the Boxer. Now, one. And to know what you can do. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. No, that's cheating. You can't go through. That's cheating. There goes Wilma. Uh, excuse me. What are you doing? Oh. 
<laughs> Young Helga there learning the flavor of Kevlar. Where's he gone? What are you doing now? What are you doing? You, you are... No, no, put, put the stick down. No, no, don't wave it. No, don't wave the stick at the dog. The dog's going to be really peeved off with you. Don't hit the dog on the head. He will be absolutely annoyed. Put him down. Put the dog down. You don't know where he's been. Go on. Once again, give a round of applause. That's Sharon with her other German.